Let's write the decimal 0 0.16 in fraction form. So we want to have a numerator over a denominator, and these should be whole numbers. We can think about this as 0 0.16 over 1. That kind of puts it in fraction form starting out, although we don't have a whole number. But think of it this way. If we have two decimal places here after the 0, what we can do if we have two decimal places like 0 0.55 or 0 0.16, we can multiply it by 100. So 100 times 0 0.16, that gives us 16. That's a whole number. But we can't just multiply 100 by 0 0.16 because that would change the quantity. And we're trying to figure out the fraction form of 0 0.16, so they're equal. What we can do, we could multiply the whole thing by 100 over 100. Because 100 over 100, that's just 1. Divide 100 by 100, you get 1. 100 times 1 is 100. And now we have this in a fraction form. We can just reduce it to simplest form. I think 4 goes into 16 4 times and goes into 125 times. And I really can't reduce this down any further. So 0 0.16, that as a fraction, would be 4 25ths. Keep in mind that 4 25ths, that's equal to 0 0.16. They're the same value. This is Dr. B converting the decimal 0 0.16 to a fraction. That fraction is 4 25ths. Thanks for watching.